I'll think I totally remember that from last night. Can you guys hear me? I think there we is have sound. sound. Now. Hello, the I people. I have been talking to you for about five minutes, but here we are. Hello. This could have been an absolute disaster, and boy, it could still be. <laughs> but we are here for the Emerald Any Percent solo run. Right. So first, can you guys hear me? Yes. Hello. At all? I can't hear anything. Oh boy. Stream can hear us. I think Amoeba is loud. That's just me, my dude. I am loud. This is a race against yourself. <laughs> it's a race against my pride as an yes. emerald runner. <laughs> Commentator is very quiet. You can only hear Amoeba. Oh, that might be my fault. Uh, no, you should be able to hear all of us. Testing, testing. Can you hear Ty Kevin? Ty is louder than I am in OBS. Hello, am I loud? I I'm, the sh I'm sure. Amoeba is much louder. That is my fault. Try that. Shiru, say, say something wonderful to the kind people. Hello. <laughs> Shiru is good. Ty Kevin. I'm good, I think. Okay, thank <laughs> you for the compliment. <laughs> I want to thank these lads, before we even start in the race, for jumping in at the absolute last minute. Um, basically, everybody but me bailed on this. I was supposed to be racing someone. I was supposed to have someone to come in and commentate with the more technical stuff. We have neither of those people, but it's better because now we have Ty and now we have Shiru, and we love these people. <laughs> so, hey, Kevin, I, remember the last time we we went on a race together about commentating? Oh no, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I think this is the first time actually. I, I might shut up now. <laughs> well, hopefully if, uh, Squid is ready with the timer, or Ty, are you on it? I don't know, somebody should be on it. Uh, Squid should be on it still. Hopefully. So we're going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! I just want to point out, we have every Emerald English world record holder in this ch voice channel right now. And such a, a rare thing may never occur again, except for the last podcast that you were on. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hold a record. You do. You hold multiple records now. You can literally call yourself yeah. the multiple record holder. Wow. Nobody started. I, I, the timer. I call myself Shiro. It's okay, guys. It's def. <laughs> so it's very likely to go overestimate. I will give you that heads up. The reason this was going to be a race originally is that the glitch that we're going to do right at the end of this run is <laughs> fairly unlikely to happen. It's a 1 in 32 chance that it actually works. We get, for all intents and purposes, unlimited retries. But the reason why we had two people doing it was the hopes that we'd actually get one of them on. You got this, Amoeba. So yeah, well, it's going to be luck. So we should have 15, 20 minutes to try and get the glitch. But yeah, there is a, there is a potential chance that we don't actually get anything. But for now, I should do it on three consoles at once. That would be mental. I could. I have enough GameCubes. Do I have? No, I don't have enough Emerald carts. Somebody like post me two Emerald carts in the next five minutes. That would be great. Oh, yeah, dude, I've always wanted to invent the category where you do two games, one controller with a wave bird, and then you trade the mud kips that you manipulate. You manipulate different TIDs, of course. Um. And then, so that you get 50% more experience from each battle. Oh, oh god. Would you ever over-level, though, for... I don't think so, right? The, the I don't level think you would, still. I, I looked into it, and you you don't really have too much of a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty permissive in earlier generations with, like, over-leveling traded Pokémon. So we're going to start off... We're going to manipulate... Exactly the same mudkip that the glitches category manipulates. That's because it's A, a solid mudkip, and B, there's not much in the way of better options. Now, nobody start the timer. Give me like a 10 minute buffer. It'll be fine. <laughs> much nicer. Wow, the run just started. Oh, I may want to apologize in advance. Flow timer might be about to be very loud because it's normally set a bit quieter, but I turned everything up for the Discord call. As long as it's not your hellos, I'm all happy with that. 
I don't like the hallows. Did I get it? Did we get first try? Taking bets. It's 21 HP and it's male. I got the careful. Damn shame. Uh -huh. <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been a good start. It, I think it's my fault because I was talking. <laughs> no, you're alright. What do we reckon for the second try? What do we reckon? This is it in the chat. Male again. I'm predicting. Uh, it's a male. It's 20 HP. What did I get? Oh, 20 HP. Naive. That is... I don't remember. <laughs> That's something. Hey, if you were doing all gold symbols, 20 HP would be good. <laughs> Did they go for a different mudkip in all gold? Didn't they yes, not? because of the palace. Ah. Yeah, you're going to need a different mudkip to do the whole... Oh, we're extending energy. this into all gold symbols, are we? I see. Yes. Yes, we're putting you on the spot. You have to learn all gold symbols right now. <laughs> Estimate one hour. Okay, maybe not. We are not getting the, uh, not getting this. Maybe, maybe. I believe. You believe? A little bit, yes. I think this is careful again. Oh, oh, is it a low roll or is it careful? Take your bets, take your bets, take your bets. It was a low roll. No, it wasn't, it was careful, I lied. <laughs> oh. And he missed the move tackle. Yeah. Come on, what are we on, sixth try? This is not good. <laughs> I like this one. Please just don't be female, and I think it's good. No female Ziggy. Do, do you have a backup cart, Amoeba, or, or is this like... Nope, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure! <laughs> imagine, oh, imagine having a cart that's a backup. Imagine well, having two carts, yeah. Imagine having that much disposable income. Very good. I have a fake one. I have a fake one that says this game can be played. <laughs> It's very informative. <laughs> oh my god, that's one frame late. We have hit every frame in a five frame window except the one we want. Well, that's just to explain <laughs> to the people that there are different mudkips out there. <laughs> Come on. And you're like, this is how you would do it. Now it's the way you would do it, Amoeba. Oh yeah, we should just use GBI to restore save data. That's That would actually be an economically feasible way to fix this problem. You can do that with GBI? Yeah. On only Game Boy Advance games, though. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Statoria have a backup file. That's so much sort of me. <laughs> He's cursing you. <laughs> I'm trying to find the pincer. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, this is it. This is it. This is it. It's just it. This is, is actually it. it. It's actually it. I missed the tackle. This is actually it. I think it is. I think I just hit the miss frame. Please say naughty. Oh my god, we can play the game. We can play the game! <laughs> Can't do it extended because I missed the tackle, but we did it. Holy hell. Oh man, but this is my childhood game. <laughs> How did I two hit? You're unlucky. With growl? What? We, we can play the game, but we're going to choose not to play the game <laughs> Is that the comic theory. Crafted, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> That's... I'm going to make sure. I'm actually going to recheck the stats here and check the numbers, because I'm slightly worried that that was... If it's the a thing, now it's a buddy's ban. Yeah, we ban, <laughs> we ban Crafted. And then we get him in here to help and actually do the run properly. I agree. I went into the bag. Oh, this is a great run. Why do I not have the Pokedex yet? Let's just play the task. You've let's ruined just, me. Let's just give up playing <laughs> RTA. It's okay, guys. We got it. We, we actually have the mudkip. Jesus Christ. <laughs> First try, oh, oh, And we got uh, some JT menu man going on there, too. <laughs> I'm doing my best to hold this together, but boy, we are, we've are. we got like thumbtacks and chewing gum holding this. To, like, we barely got out of the first... Ugh. Okay, right. So, this is any percent. 
What does that mean? It means we're going to do glitches. So we're not going to do glitches, we're going to do a glitch. But for the first hour, hour and 20, we're actually just basically going to do what the glitches run does with the odd, strange detour. So if you're familiar with your glitches runs, you're going to see some pretty standard stuff in the early game. What is the percentage chance that this run actually finishes? Probably zero. But, you know. We're gonna put on a show. We're gonna... This is gonna be like the, the shit post of the PSR Marathon 2020. Like, it's, it's <laughs> definitely never gonna work. No, nothing's gonna happen right. It's all gonna go to hell. But we're gonna enjoy the ride. Yeah. We're all this, gonna is be... the birth, this is the birth oh. of me, luck. <laughs> I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. <laughs> I want to get off Mr. Any Percent's wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a tackle. I'm probably dead to Calvin. Let's go. Oh dear. Dying to Calvin, the movie. Do I say for Calvin on 8 HP? Taking opinions? Uh, uh, I, I'm <laughs> no. a, I would do it. I think, given how this run has gone so far, I will be saving. I would do it. I'm just a pussy, though. <laughs> no, I'm going to save. Can you imagine going back to uh, PC Pro? I don't know if the step counter will come into play for this Abra, because we don't know a ton about this Abra. I'm what is this Abra? This Abra is the Any% percent Abra. It's not the glitchless Abra, and it's only one frame window. So... What? Yeah, it's fun. It's probably... Do you need specific stats? Yes, we need a... Uh, th there's a couple of Abras that suffice, but the earliest one is the one we get, because it's obviously faster. Here, oh lord. One frame for the Abra. Yeah, they'll be fine. Look how quickly I got the mudkip. Well... You're supposed to laugh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I that was that. a joke. <laughs> Please. Yeah. I'm dying inside. Please help. <laughs> was it not first try? I was looking away. <laughs> Well, the time is only on, like, what, six minutes? So we're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Probably good. <laughs> Disgusted Shiru's voice. This is like a mockery to everything Shiru believes in, in Emerald Speedruns. Yes. I... I think. I, I, I'm just <laughs> disgusted I, I, by the, the Abra thing, being one frame. Oh, oh you. <laughs> Eight minutes. I can tell you the timer should currently be 10.39. You know, it's funny because the time would still be bad if it was... <laughs> <laughs> sure right now Come is... on, man, you're on my side. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought that was on Startorius' side. <laughs> oh, no. It's a setup all along. <laughs> it's set up for failure. <laughs> After about five minutes of so many different audio issues, Ranger Squid's back. Cool. Hello, Hello squid. squid. Amoeba, did you say? No. Savings for pansies. We'll just win. It's easy. Did, Amoeba, did you win? I did win. Can report. Happy to report. I'll be honest, I completely nice. forgot to was, save and there was a there real was moment of panic when... The... There. Yes. There, there was... <laughs> chat. It was a bit of YOLO. <laughs> Everybody in chat went, oh, he didn't save. And I went, oh, no, I didn't save. <laughs> Just complete panic. <laughs> oh, Lotad blesses the run, though. This is fine. We are now we are now blessed. This is a perfect run from here. Congratulations, well done. I like Lotad. Short name, easy to run away from. I hate rolls. Shiro, have you ever seen us buy five and five in the first market? Five and five? Yes. Cursed. <laughs> this is that, so cursed. Has anybody ever told me I sound like Ashens? Uh, no. I don't, also don't know what Ashens is. Ashens? Is that all correct for Ash? His voice is very soothing. If you like the soothing tones of my voice, you should join us every... First, the first Saturday of every month. See, I'm good at I'm good at the, the words. I'm not good at the words coming out of my mouth. I'm good at the the soothing tones, but not the words. But you should oh, join us on the first. Uh, <laughs> I think you call it Norwich. No, but well done on pronouncing Norwich correctly. I am from Lincolnshire. 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 Yes. That's like a Pokemon city. 
It's just south of Yorkshire, and if I was from Yorkshire, it would be a notably stronger accent. But if you like my voice, you should join us the first Saturday of every month for the PS Podcast, where we cover news and runs in and the PSR community. Two hours of Amoeba ASMR. <laughs> you get an hour if I'm feeling bored, but you know. <laughs> I also join once a year. Oh yeah, you've been on exactly two. <laughs> <laughs> every time you got world record, sure, do you want to be on the podcast? <laughs> and I'm like, sure, whatever. <laughs> So I'm currently catching this route, definitely executing this menu extremely quickly. Very nice. That was, uh, a minute. <laughs> the Ziggy did uh, good damage there. Yeah, which is bad because you lose more time due to having to watch the, the HP bar go lower. True, yeah. The, the podcasts that Amoeba remembered to highlight <laughs> are on... <laughs> no, the, the, there's... <laughs> so so the, first, the first year of podcasts are on my YouTube. The rest is highlighted in Twitch VODs on this channel because we ran it through this channel afterwards. However, yeah. RIP episodes 4 and 26 because I uh, definitely did not highlight those. Yeah, Blame me for that. Is my favorite. 26 had uh, Huangbro on it, which I actually feel quite bad about. I, I feel like I did Huangbro dirty there. I think 4 was what I was on, but yeah, it's, it's no big deal. It may have been 14 and 26, Jim Freak, you might be correct. Four was 26. actually four was two PSR marathons ago. We did it because Ty, I think you were on that one as well. We did it as a yeah. like the oh intro. Oh my god, show. we've been doing this for two years. <laughs> oh man, it's been a while. It's been a long ride. <laughs> That's one point for you in the quiz. Well done, Jim Freak. I had to concede that uh, Crafted was right on a question that I told him he was wrong on as well. So they actually scored forty points, but don't tell them that. Right, Aquapooch. Everybody loves Aquapooch. No, you got ASMR mode in the hype show. We're not getting any more of that this marathon. <laughs> so this fight sucks because Aquapooch has 10 attack. That's the end of my statement. <laughs> also, it takes you can like... imagine the rest. Uh, fourth gen gamer basically did the same fight here, but with Piplup yesterday. And that's a five turn fight and he's got sand attack. So let's see if we've got his luck or if we've got ours. That's a good start. We like how. And then sand attack. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Mm, sand attack C, not so good. But you can just believe in your mud give and never miss. We've got two sand attacks. It's fine, I have a high accuracy IV. <laughs> We've got three sand attacks. How high is it? Uh, it's high enough that it takes three sand attacks for me to miss. I have four sand attacks. Ah, 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 ah. You have to only hit once. Come on, five sand attack. Oh, come on, we've got to go to plus uh, to minus six. Do it for us. Sand attack again. No, that's a tackle. No, he crit. Aww. Please don't die. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we got it. <laughs> so that's a pretty standard yeah. approach. <laughs> yes. Blimey. <laughs> Below yeah. average, but not by much. <laughs> not by much, no. So there's a really easy trick to how much the stages do. The uh, denominator is increased by one if it's, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think. If it's 100% accurate, then it's like, it's yeah. a half, then a third, then a quarter, then a fifth, then a sixth. Um, not exactly. Oh, well, I got bodied. I had some interesting information there. <laughs> <laughs> I did well. It's, um, so it, it works differently also for accuracy and evasion versus the attack ones. Like the stages do different things so uh in gen 3 though like minus 3 would be 50 out of 100 on accuracy but on uh like attack if your attack is minus 3 then it's only like 2 out of 5 so the the stages aren't as devastating with accuracy in gen 3 yeah it sucks more in at least gen 1 i'm not sure about gen 2 i think gen 2 had just as bad Oh. Amoeba, why do we pick the girl? What an excellent question from Wartab in the chat. We pick the girl She's because... Not. No, yeah, that too. Shout out to... <laughs> Shiro, I saw that clip where you spoke to Flannery from the side for the first time yesterday. It's the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so 
side Flannery. The side PC of Gen 3. <laughs> well, I was answering a question. What was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, we pick the girl because then you get the male rival 2. A male rival 2 leads with a slugmer instead of... Is it a whalemer or a wingle? Regardless, whatever it is, it has growl. And that's really terrible if you're trying to set up X attacks. Whereas the slugmer has yawn and ember. And ember can burn, which sucks. And the yawn is slow, which sucks. But it's all safe. I think it's whalemer because I think it's in sapphire it's wingle. Wilmer is in Sapphire and Wingle is in Emerald. I got that exactly wrong. Very impressed. Yeah, also the girl is hot. I mean, that's just a, you know. Uh, well, actually, I should explain like more seriously. Uh, the, the girl also speaks more than the guy. Uh, there are more text boxes coming out from her. So, of course, you do lose time to just text text. Yes. This yeah, is you take the girl to not get her text. <laughs> it's, it's ironic, yes. This is my favorite menu in the entire run. Yay. Because you press five different buttons in a row to get that switch and then use it, which I love. It's the most nothing thing to anybody actually watching, but I like it. How many times That's can I get cool. patronized? That's my whole reason for being here. <laughs> I, actually like, I actually enjoy it. I deliberately get all the flags wrong on the podcast just for the sake of Skoa telling me I'm stupid. Well we should have uh, an Amiibo got patronized counter in the corner. <laughs> Can we get uh, like the, the tracker for the Let's Go run, but it's just the number of times the, the, every split <laughs> that Amiibo gets patronized in? <laughs> yes. Well, there are no splits, so... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just patronize me on my quest to be patronized? <laughs> yes. It was funny. <laughs> Spam this cheese to patch. No, please. Help, I'm being bullied. This is bullying at this point. Uh, I didn't ask for this. I just wanted a friendly emerald room. Yes. Or even better, a race. <laughs> Subscribe to my Patreon. Yeah. Buy my OnlyFans. The whole lot. <laughs> Only <God>, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying it. Oh, you, you, you do have the, the height for it. <laughs> is there a height requirement for OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't talk about this. This is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we've gone into Roxanne with less than perfect health. You might think mm -hmm. it's less than ideal. I but agree. We have a move that we can use for the first and possibly only time in this run. Growl. UK bathwater. Enjoy that lime scale. Isn't Beldle theme from UK as well? I don't know. I'm not going to lie. And even if I did know, I would pretend I didn't. So you don't actually know if I know or not. We got a wasted turn. This is good. Oh, and a crit. It's a shame that's not turn two. Technically it's turn two. But... Hmm. Crit's uh, more useful on turn two with the god crit, right? Oh yeah, magic crit is is the stuff of dreams. Yes. I got crit by rock tomb. Spoilers for the people in VC. What a wonderful friend. Crits ignore ac uh, stat drops, and so the growl was useless. Thank God I saved. Amazing. Imagine if I wasn't a pansy, I'd be a fool instead. Well, happened. Oh happens. no, did we lose the sub-20 Roxanne? Oh no! No, it was already gone. <laughs> it's like we're on like 22 minutes already. I think this is badly Norris. Oh right, because the timer started late. <laughs> yeah. I've got every bonus in the world handed to me and this is still a terrible split. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, just get the first try egg. This, this time would be bad in Norris. <laughs> I don't need this. Well, that's another that's... count. That's a, that's a plus <laughs> one for the count. Scratch that one for another patronize. <laughs> Tick. Don't crit me. Oh, he didn't. Excellent. Wow. Not getting crit. Yeah, imagine. So, have... uh, how, how bad is this fight if you don't use Growl? Uh, I mean, from full health you don't, because you can... You can... But the entire fight is like avoiding getting into... 
rock tomb killing range. So if you don't have growl up, then it's like 15 or less is basically you're dead next turn. Um, but because I wasn't at full health, growl means that I can take... So like so far I've taken a rock tomb and a tackle and I'm still not in rock tomb range. And this should be torrent and hopefully if we high roll, <gasps> we skipped a potion. That was all what it was all for. I reset so that we could have the, the neat potion skip. Good man. Anyway, yeah, the five more than dying, what it does is just make you lose time. It, yeah. Like the potions can be really slow and the magic crit literally saves a minute. Yeah, magic yeah. crit is silly. So if you get a regular fight, you basically have an optional with a magic crit. It's really stupid. It, it's really dumb. This fight is really stupid. <laughs> it's even worse in, in Sapphire because Nose Pass has rock throw. So yeah. it's just a nightmare. Just ban Roxanne. I hate Roxanne. To be honest, you can end the sentence that it's really worse than Sapphire. Just <laughs> yes. anything. Name what you want. It's worse <laughs> than Sapphire. I, am I crazy if I tell you I prefer Tail and Liza and Sapphire? <sighs> I don't know. I don't actually know how Tate to... I know you use Dive, so yeah, probably. But well, you the use Dive say, at some point. The notes say turn 1 XP, turn 2 Adapt. <laughs> right, Abra Minip. I have one frame to get the right Abra. Actually free. Yep, if I'm good. Only if I'm good. If I am bad at the game. This is not free. Thank you, Crafted. I did that just for you. Did not get first try. We got caught though. That is only a frame late. Just wanted to make sure I was remotely close to the frame I'm actually aiming for. So one frame late is like fine. Mm -hmm. I reckon that's good. I was, I am correct. Can we get the catch minute? <clears throat> no pressure. No pressure. That's an Abra. It is. I'm seeing an Abra on my screen. And a singular Abra. Can I say the hardest part about going from glitchless to any percent is getting the muscle memory out of my hands to press A on the audio cue for the back. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Do you know the stats for this Abra? I do not off the top of my head, but I could definitely find them for you. It's just interesting because this is exactly the tile where you get the female Abra. Oh my god, my chain minute. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. 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 We need to catch li it. literally anything. But well, this will do. Don't crit. Big shame it's it's a, it's a level 8. Yeah, well, no, it makes no difference. Other than the fact that Taylor was like the worst thing to try and catch out of everything on this route. Everything else has a better catch rate. Apart from maybe Skitty. It's just for content. Yeah. Epic. You got in. You got in. You did it. We did it. And that's the Andrew last minute. Oh yeah. Taylor did huh. us a favor. I love Taylor. I love Taylor. So that's it. We are done with minips. We don't have to do anymore. I'm always so scared of this bit. Want to explain, uh, oh, was it, were you supposed to hit that guy? Yeah. I can literally okay. can't avoid him. <laughs> Trust me, I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have gone nuts if I'd have hit that guy and I wasn't supposed to. You'd know. Did you want to explain what you were doing with the bag minip for the other trainers? Yeah, go ahead. So the trainers in Gen 3 always have like a specific timer for um, like how often they turn. And that timer has like a delay after you load the overworld. So by opening the bag and closing it, you can prevent them from spinning for a short period of time and then walk past them. There's yes. A lot of the spinners in this game, we can use the same kind of property, but combine it with walking and biking to pass them without having to go in the bag, which is obviously faster. Um, but there's certain ones that you can't do that. If you've got two spinners, you can't, unless you're uh, a god, you can't like react to it properly, so you just have to bag minute. But uh, hopefully if I'm good, you'll see some run into bikes later, which looks, it looks scary, because I'll literally be running towards the spinner and then jump on my bike and run past them. But if I do it properly, it's a guaranteed pass. I mean, uh, permission to explain type, type A, B, and C. Permission granted. 
Oh, nice. Okay. So <laughs> every spinner in Gen 3 has three different types. Uh, they can either be type A, B, or, or C. All my homies hate type C, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Anyway, so every spinner will start the first spin, or will have a chance of spinning the first time after 32 frames, once it's loaded. Uh, but the second spin, and so on, depends on, on their type. If it's type B, it's gonna spin 64 frames later. If it's type C, it's gonna be 16 frames later. So type C is very annoying for stuff you want to manette, because a, a step in this game is the 16 frames of rugged. So you can just do the math and see that type C does not help with that. And that's about it. You're welcome. <laughs> well, actually, well, I should I should add something else. If you run towards a spinner, their clock, which is like what like Kevin was mentioning, uh, is also reset, uh, and it'll only spin after 32 frames once again, or also if they just spun. So even if they are Type C, they will not spin in the next 16 frames because they just spun. It's like the clock resets uh, after that as well. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have a if you if you had a way for every spinner to run like a tile away from where you want to pass them, you'd always be able to pass them because you'd run to that tile and then you'd walk one tile more and that's sixteen yeah. frames and the spinner can't spin for the first thirty two. Yeah. So I, I love watching runners do that. I do not personally have the cojones <laughs> to uh to run up to a trainer like that. There's some, there are some real scary ones, um, but yeah, I think I think even in this shorter run, we're going to have an example of nearly every type of minute. So we'll go through Spinner Valley, and that will be a whole lack of different ones. That has it has a run into bike, then it has a double set of spinners that we bag in it, then it has a spinner that we unload, and because we're on the Mac bike, we can bike past him fast enough after reloading him to get past before he can spin. There's lots of it. We uh, we go back to Petzlberg again because Rival 2 is coming up and Rival 2 sucks, so we need good items. Yes. Also, teleport takes you to a place. Oh yeah, we haven't explained that. So I entered Petzlberg. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you scared me, what's going on? <laughs> I was trying to be surprised. Reaction to you randomly showing up at a different town. Oh, that worked. I, I'm surprised I, now too. I'm, I'm still surprised. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we entered the Petalberg Center earlier. We just walked in and walked out, and all that does is set the teleport location for later because teleport just takes you to the last center that you went. Last center that you entered. Shout out to Interpreter and his run that had an enter center split, which is the funniest split name I've ever seen. And I still remember it now. But we will use... We need Abra for the glitch later on. We need this very specific Abra, but we're going to use Abra's teleport in general. In a lot of places, we'll walk into Marvel's center later on, and then teleport back there one, two, three, like four times? Five times in total. This is all symbols, correct. I'll be doing awesome. I'll be doing the symbols bit offline. So you won't get to see that. Unlucky. Above or below 0 0.5 bonks in Granite Cave. If you bonk once, I am going to be angry. Oh, okay. Definitely bonking then. I'm currently angry. <laughs> the all way trainer over. cards uh, all trainer cards ace would be hilarious. Wouldn't that be... Could you not just write the flags with A's? I'm sure you could. I mean, to be fair, the, can you do blank with Ace is nearly always a yes. Doesn't really matter what blank is. You can play Pong with Ace. I saw it on YouTube. Merp has right. a, an excellent task of this on the Japanese version that does some very fun bonus content right at the end that was a joy to watch. I have good news, Shiri. I'm not angry? You're not angry. Nice. 
I did lose two turn frames. I was hoping that nobody would point that out. Thanks, Crafted. Mark that down for I, patronized. I saw them, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> I just knew that I would definitely, because I'd said the over or under thing, I knew I'd screw them up, so it was safer. Safer for my pride to not do them. Can we make the truck and then make Mew appear under the truck? Yes. Provided it's possible within the console limitations, you can do it. I think it will blow up if you do that. It'll just explode. Fun fact, I just saved time on my PB split there. There you go. Oh dear. So, later in the run, you're going to be seeing an ace that uses the Pomeg glitch. So what the Pomeg glitch does is uh, you can take a Pokemon and increase its HP with EVs. And then when you use the Pomeg Berry on that Pokemon, it will drop its HP. Just like a quirk in how things were coded it, in the game. It drops the HP EVs, and if, if that amount happens to yes. result in a, in a lower HP value overall, it will drop that H your HP as well. Yes, which can make a Pokemon faint in ways that the game is not expecting. The soft sand for Trap Inch. We are getting Dig Trap Inch, can confirm. Now we attach it to Mudkip for, well, mostly actually for Marsh Tomp to do bigger damage with uh, Mudshot later, but it will come in useful in this next fight, potentially, because we may want to Mud Slap. Okay. Well, okay, so somebody was asking why we're not doing Brawly early in chat. <laughs> it is literally impossible. Yes, basically. It sucks. It just sucks. Yeah. Don't do it. You have to do early experience, which is not much slower as it turns out. I thought it was much slower, but Crafted tells me it is not much at all. Like just early seconds. XP is very annoying with chain manips because they just destroy your birds. And then Brawly itself is still not good, even if you're Marsh Stomp going in. Yeah. I mean, I died to Brawly on the way back to Norman in a run the other day, and you're like level 30 at that point. That's just a mere luck. That is, yeah. Wow, Dexy, wow. you're not a garbage person, we love you. Dexy, you're a sugoi. <laughs> Can we have a heart in chat for Dexy, who is an excellent Japanese runner, and who has... <laughs> Good job, Shiro. Good <laughs> job, <laughs> He's an excellent Japanese runner. Everybody should go and check him out because he does very fine runs on Japanese and English. Wow. You're not the only one getting patronized today. You think Ringo is excellent? At, ooh, what opinion. I mean, he does have a better time than me and Emerald, so I can only... I, I almost can't speak about him. The man is like a myth, a legend, like Shiro. He says I'm a god gamer. It's That's funny. true, yeah. This guy has supersonic, and of course he hits me with it. Very unfortunate. Thankfully, I have 42 health. Did you understand? Do you consider not getting hit by supersonic? Uh, I did, but it makes more content sense to get hit, I thought. Hmm. It's okay. It's all fine. It all worked out. I only hit myself once. Very nice. I might actually put a bounty on somebody other than Pokeguy getting a good Rival 2 split, because I'm convinced it's impossible. Yeah, Rival, Rival 2 split is just stupid. It's not even considerable to just even consider it considered. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we don't like Rival 2. Rival 2 is mean. It's good in Amber in Sapphire. Is it? Is it really? Well, asterisk. It's good if you are below forty-one HP. You don't get yeah. It's Sapphire doesn't get like free heals out of the butt, which uh, almost helps. In a way. Although it wouldn't really help us. We really want to be at full health. So I guess we we all get the best of both worlds. Amoeba, I have good news. I'm excited for the good news. Merp is 
around and may be able to jump in for some additional commentary. Oh, that's excellent timing because Merp knows a lot more than any of us <laughs> on the stuff that they figured out. I agree. I don't know anything. I just know stuff about Emerald. <laughs> I just know stuff from reading Merp's extremely detailed submission. Yeah, we should uh, we should probably mention actually Merp is the the one that at least reverse engineered how this worked from a Japanese run and then applied it in a better way to the English run. So a lot of the new version of any percent is Merp's brainchild. Yeah. Like the old any percent of Emerald was basically just like a bunch of screwing around people did and like accidentally figuring out how to get to the Elite Four yeah. and win the game instantly. And now we actually like have a logically thought out uh, route for how to do it. I should probably mention the the older route, which you if you're a regular viewer of the PSR marathon, you will have seen a run in was it twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen? I don't remember. One of those two. That was using what did it do it went to it sets up the glitch in old ale and then it used corruption to set a flag that said that you've been to evergrand before so you could then fly to evergrand because the game thought you'd already been there and then it would corrupt again to get a pokemon that had an instant win move so there was two corruptions and it was, it was worse than this is. It's not much better now. <laughs> it's better, but it isn't perfect because we still have to roll the horrific chance at the end that the glitch works in the first place. But we'll explain that when we get there. You're not sure you consider Ace being a glitch? Ty Kevin, can you field that question? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> the Ace itself may not be... But whatever, what you did something. If, if you have Ace, at some point, somebody did something. <laughs> Unless you're like tassing uh, the the console, you know, like on a computer. <laughs> Which, I mean, I wouldn't put it past some people on TAS videos. Hi, Mer. Hello, Mer. Oh, no, that was really bad. <laughs> I need to turn Merp up. You are very quiet. Hello. Hi, Merp. We can hear you now. All right. Okay. Sorry. Um, when you said seven fifty, I thought you meant. I just immediately assumed my time. So. It's all right. Three hours from now, so it's not your fault. I just thought I I was hurt. I thought everybody had abandoned me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm very glad that you're here because uh, it was an interesting thinking about the commentary for this run and actually thinking, I know what to do at the end of it. I don't know why any of it works. Yeah, we've just been memeing for 40 minutes to fill. So. <laughs> yes, this is just filler. Now the real commentary begins. Imagine, oh my God, I got three embers and burned on the last one. Really classic. Yeah, this is... Brendan is such a pain. Please don't burn like me again. You... What? <laughs> I think I'm going to get burned again. <laughs> I have to double potion. And then he yawned. Yeah, why not? Well, good fight. Yeah, good fight. <laughs> no, like, even in a task, I think this one and the fight against Norman are the two worst fights in the game. Norman is not fun. I actually, I'm not actually sure about this, but I think in the Japanese version, um, the slacking has higher uh, IVs or EVs. I forget which. Could it be that he has a different nature? Or... That could be it. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, they're yeah, they... yeah, going sure. Uh, yeah, they normally have the same IVs in every language, mm -hmm. but depending yeah. on what language you play, they have different natures. Which is why in Japanese you cannot strength in RTA that this is. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot strength the Lenun, but in English you can because it's plus defense nature in in, in Japanese. Merp, can you explain why we need this specific Abra as opposed to uh, just any Abra? Okay, so 
There are actually a lot of Abras that sort of satisfy the criteria, but obviously the one that you catch in this is the earliest one that you can get. Uh, so specifically, when we're going to corrupt the Abra, uh, we need its personality value um, to have... Sorry, um, it has to have a value so that when it's corrupted, it swaps EVs and uh, the species data so that we can swap the attack and HP EV data into the species value of the Pokemon. Um, in the task, I use Mudkip for that, but it's it's hard to get a Mudkip that actually works well. Um, and it's just easier to do the Abra, or if you're just doing it casually, you can catch the CDOT, which I think someone actually did in a run for this, that was, I think it was like two and a half hours or something. He, he still finished it. Hmm. Yeah. No, it's actually a decent time to, I mean, mm. you know, by standards so. of... Yeah, oh. and when he did it, it took, um, it was with the strategy that was worse than it is now. Um, so instead of catching the Abra, you'd go back to Rust Barrow, uh, you'd trade for this in-game trade CDOT, and then you'd have to go all the way down back to Old Dale and get get at the EV training, and it was still like a 50% chance that it wouldn't work, Oof. because you, um, you had to de deposit it into the PC boxes. This is before we um, figured out that we could just slide into the box names, so it was getting it lined up in the PC boxes as well as the 1 in 32 chance to corrupt it. So that was really bad. I'm surprised that that's still... that he finished a run with that strategy. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, two hours and a half. I mean, it's it's no 120 or whatever the, the record is right now, but, I mean, you know, it's not seven hours, which is what you normally see with weird strats. Now, what is it now? 125? 125. Yeah, Amiba two. just had to come in here and get a four-minute lead on the <laughs> world record. Nice. I mean, like, is this world record? <laughs> uh, no, very unlikely. No, but there you is... have to say... Oh, okay, sorry. Yes, yes yeah. definitely, hundred percent, guaranteed. Yeah, it's it's wow. world record until it's it is. Until it isn't, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Maybe we get the corruption on the first try. Yes. Ah, uh, well, see, that's, a, that's famous last words, I think. I'm behind by five minutes on PB. So, I mean, if everything goes well and I get f corruption first try. There is a chance. <laughs> War record confirmed? <laughs> confirmed, yeah, 100%. This cat, yeah, so. I know uh, we've had runs that are like six minutes ahead of this, of the record run into the corruption, so it's just a case there of, you know, getting lucky. But, but yeah, the. Uh... The record before this was Startoria's. I can't remember what time it was exactly, but that one. One forty-three. No, I think it was. A, it was in the one twenties. Oh. I'm fairly okay. fairly sure. Well, I remember the first one that I was actually there for, um, with the new strategy was like one forty-three, I think. Yeah. It was like he did that one, and then immediately after it got like a one twenty something. Yeah. But that was with so. One of the, the key light things we have to set up right before doing the glitch is that we need Marsh Tom to be at 1 HP. And that was for um, what Ty Kevin mentioned earlier with the Pomeg glitch. We need Marsh Tom to basically drop to 0 HP from the Pomeg. And setting that up is a nightmare. The last fight that we want to do is Norman. Um, so the easiest option we thought at the time was to get poisoned and obviously just run around wear the poison off until you're at 1 HP. And the options for that initially, Sartoria was going up to Fiery Path and manip the coughing manip yeah, manipulated a coughing and basically just sat there until it poisoned him with poison gas or smog, which is a reasonable chance. But it going up to Fiery Path and having to do a save and reset is quite slow. Uh, and then I, mean, I started- You can't be slow at a Pokemon speedrunning marathon. Exactly. I thought then, because we have to go after Norman, we have to surf east to... I don't remember whether it was west or east. We have to surf uh, east, east towards Berry Master's Garden to get the Pomic Berry. And there is a, an Aroma Lady there, right below the, the Berry Garden. She has a Roselia and then a Gloom that has Poison Powder. And I thought east? that if... I thought you said Weast. But you said Weast. <laughs> Damn it. 
<laughs> but yeah, I thought that was a, there was a better chance if you weren't unreasonably... Oh, it's a better chance of it being faster if you weren't unreasonably lucky with that gloom. Why am I nipping instead of using the trainer with a coughing? I do not know where that is. If you're on about below 40, you'd have to do a bit more of the story before you get to that coughing. Um, but anyway, regardless, we, we figured it all out because <laughs> one of the things we were doing as part of the run was going through Norman, hitting level 31, and then not teaching takedown. Takedown gives you recoil damage. And then immediately after Norman, we have to EV train the Abra a little bit, which we use an XP share for. So Marsh Stomp's still doing the killing, and so we can just take down things for recoil on very weak Pokemon. And that you is now... Yeah, sorry, sure, I did. We didn't make any sure. fanfare for that, but that is very exciting. <laughs> Yes, okay, so that, that Zigzagoon has Headbutt, Growl, and Sand, sand Attack. attack. Yeah. And it sucks. It's a 59% range, you miss it and you will cry. It will, it will always cost you a turn, it often costs you two, it potentially costs you tons. If... Is there a chance that the takedown damage can knock, knock much pop out? There or... is, but we I basically sat there and went through all of the possible encounters and figured out what the recoil was at every possible level that you can encounter them from. And thankfully, they all line up quite nicely. So as long as you're quick with your maths, it's pretty comfortable. Um, because there's only a maximum amount of HP that you can deal as damage to, you know, like a full bar of HP can only be so high, depending on their EVs and IVs. Uh, not EVs, IVs in nature. So we've practically been doing Glitchless, apart from the, the slightly different Abra, we've practically matched Glitchless up until this point. I'm going to take a very slight detour after Watson. We're going to pick up an HP up. And we used to do that in Glitchless. Do you remember those days, Shuri? Was that? Yes. Yeah. We used to get that for Thank money, because we had to buy lots of stuff. I love money. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if you can do it, RTA, but in the latest version of the task, I skipped getting basically all the items and just bought them from Slateport, like after Norman. I'm not, I don't think you'll have enough money for it though. Uh, we definitely need X items. Like, before. We, Statorio and I were throwing around the idea of skipping. Um, oh, I meant like just the HP ups. You can buy HP. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, um, we don't really go past Slateport, I don't th unless we did it on the way down from Flannery. Oh, should we, should we do it now? I need to know right now. Oh, I'm kidding. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that might be a might be a, a nice live reroute. Yeah, in the tasks I do it after one and going back up to, um, yeah, like you surf that route. Mm. Yeah, we make this detour for this uh, this HP up, and then we teleport straight back. So that's teleport number two. Very useful, Abra. Puts in his work. Well, it might be her work. I can't remember. Is this the female or the male one? Hmm. The female what? I was uh, the Abra. This is a female Abra. She's putting in work. <laughs> yes. We get very nice Wally phone call timing here. Normally you'd have to bonk on these stairs to then do this upcoming run to bike. But Wally is a friend in this category. So that's Thank a run you, to Wally. bike. So we ran up one tile and right two tiles of where the spinner is, which forces him to look right and then jumped on our bike, which is a guaranteed pass. If I'm getting on the bike within eight frames, Shuru will patronize me if that number's wrong. Seven. And that was close. You're welcome. I suppose, yeah, exactly eight, and you'd get caught on the quick spin. Exactly. Yeah, Emerald is really fun because of tricky movement, IMO. Yes, it's actually one of the only good things. The Mugbug just carries Gen 3 very hard. I went into glitchless buying there for a second. <laughs> Thankfully, it remembered what items I need. 
So a far less impressive market trip there because we're not going to be doing most of the end game X item stuff. Wait, wasn't this originally supposed to be a race? Yeah, yes it was. I remember that. <laughs> But we don't have to talk about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we have more from our sponsor. <laughs> the PS Podcast. Coming live to your streams every Saturday. Every Saturday? <laughs> yeah, it turns out it's every week now. No, yeah. <laughs> every Saturday. <laughs> Good lord. That would be too much. Sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. Oh no! Have you ever played Ray Shadow Legends? Me neither. No, I don't even know what that game's about. Spon I think it's a mobile game. Sponsored. It is a mobile game. I know that. <laughs> to clarify a little bit, since I actually have played a tiny bit of it, it's a semi AFK grindy RPG game. It's kind of fun. Just the meme is there. <laughs> there you go. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Sponsored by. I don't know. <laughs> right, I feel like we're really stretching for these memes now. I think at this point they're just kind of leaning into the meme potential of Raid Shadow Legends when they sponsor YouTubers. For personally, I get the the Squatch soap ones. D do you guys not get that those the, nope. the Doctor Squatch? Do not know. I get the one where he's one of the characters is sitting on a. In like near a pool, and just talking about the game, all relaxed and everything. I get the the manscaping one a lot, which makes me wonder oh, if they're yeah, trying the to. Uh, three. Yep. <laughs> they're trying and to hinder something. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I have a question. Okay. Yes. Um, why do we get the HP up? Do we get the 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 nugget? No, you don't need to. The HP up is specifically for Abra's EVs. Oh, you don't actually sell it. No. Also, check out. Yeah, that. it's more of the EV stuff for Pome Glitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually for Abra, not the Pome Glitch. It's for corruption. And Merp can probably tell you why we need these specific EVs, but we need 17 uh, yeah. HP and f something Six attack. attack. Close. <laughs> nice. So that number is very specific uh, because. Abra is basically the corruption target. We want to swap the EV data and the species data so that we can get species number 611 in Hex. And the, the reason for that specific number is all Pokemon basically have animations and that like tell the game whether it wants to wiggle the sprite or like make it blur it a little bit. And for glitch Pokemon uh, with species numbers that are outside the normal range, uh, some of the functions that it can call are in RAM, so we can, with 611, the specific error that it calls is in PC box names, so then we can write code there to take us to the end of the game. Wow. Sorry, that was really fast. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it made me smarter. <laughs> you know when you hear an explanation and you're like, I am far too low IQ for this? <laughs> I, I just press the buttons, I don't know what I'm doing it for. I'm very glad you're actually here to explain it, because <laughs> I was really worried I'd just be sat through this run going, oh, we do stuff, but I don't know why. If only the glitch code worked properly on a GBA. Well, it does work. It's that, uh, so some of the codes are written for, like, casual use on, apparently there's an emulator bug with one of the ways that the emulator executes a certain instruction, so that some of the code, like, I've written for like casual use not for the speed running like to take you to the event island so you can get Mew and Lugia and stuff it just doesn't work on console it works in emulator and I'm not sure why I've talked to the developer of MGBA but we haven't worked out exactly what's wrong yet uh -huh. mm -hmm. I've found occasions where I think I've got the right egg on emulator and it doesn't seem to do the thing that I'm alluding to and not spoiling mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, there MGBA is awesome, but it's not like quite perfect yet. It, there was some mm. frames we had to add to get things syncing for a Game Boy Advance task. Oh wow. But we did sync another Game Boy Advance task recently. Oh, what, what which one was it? The Super Mario Bros. 4 Super Mario Advance 3 run. Oh nice. 
Yeah, MDVA is the best one that I know of, and when I do all my testing, that's what I use, but I, since I don't have an actual GBA, I can't really figure stuff out if something just doesn't match up on console. Uh, one of the errors with like the console code seems to be that it's loading data two bytes ahead of where it should, and it might just be a bug in the way that the emulator actually implements that, because it's basically never used anywhere outside of this. You will get the glitch in the first 10 tries, let's hope. Kitsune is, uh, is my oracle of the chat. Mm. They're pretty good at guessing, but 10 is, 10 is optimistic. Yeah, I remember when Startori was doing it, it took, I think, like, 50 tries before he finally got it. Well, It was no really pressure. discouraging. <laughs> well, this was the entire reason. We were we were sort of setting this up as a race, but the idea with Maul was mm. that there was a better chance that one of us would actually hit it within the estimate. Mm. And Floy LRO is my king. You need to capitalize that <laughs> R, bro. Come on, you're slipping. It's got to be good. You've got to have the right case on it, or it all ruined, all broken if you don't get it right. I'm a fan of F N R O Z space question mark N. <laughs> I have stupid like little mnemonic names for all of the box names. <laughs> Might start. I, I shouldn't change them anymore then, because <laughs> it used to be they used to be two boxes longer. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I did right. I did the ten box mm -hmm. ones for a bit. But the, the 8 box was pretty easy to adapt to, because I think a lot of them were quite mm. similar. Well, the glitch looks cool. Mm. That's, all I can, uh, that's all I can tell you. I remember that casual funky player. I mean, the SID can still ruin your chances a little bit, but he can't actually kill the run, so... Yeah, if we start seeing bad eggs, that's that's uh, not great. <laughs> that's a sad time. How sad is it? It just means that resets are gonna. It, it, we're gonna have to reset more, most likely. So, I'm gonna say this, and then Merp's gonna correct me on all the bits that I get wrong. <laughs> but there's a thing that can happen with, if you've got certain SIDs, and I don't know what the percentage of SIDs that are good and are bad, but there are bad ones. And if you get bad ones, your Abra can corrupt into a bad egg. And if it corrupts into mm. a bad egg, you have to soft reset and do all of the setup again. Whereas if mm. you've got the good SID, you that don't have to do happen. that. Yeah. So the way that it works, it's actually a 50% chance um, because we're trying to turn a bit on in Abra's data. Uh, but the way that the corruption works means that so it can hit anywhere in average data, but we want it to hit this one specific location, which is a 1 in 32 chance to get right. So of the 32 possible things that can happen, 18 of them just do nothing because they don't actually touch Abra at all. Uh, one of them gives us the one we want. Um, six of them corrupt data that doesn't cause a bad egg because it's not protected by the Pokemon checksum. And six of them corrupt data that can cause a bad egg by setting a bit in the data, and when the game goes to read the Pokemon, it'll say, hey, this data doesn't match the checksum, let's turn this into a bad egg, because it was an anti-cheat mechanism that Game Freak put in. Uh, but the only way that can actually happen is if that bit can be set. So if the bit is already set, um, based on your SID, then it just won't do anything to it. And it just basically does nothing. So that's why. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know we're... my my small brain. When you talk about <laughs> when when you talk about data corruption, it always mm -hmm. goes to can my safe file be corrupt? Um, this is actually pretty harmless uh, because the corruption that we're doing, we're only corrupting this one slot in the PC, uh, not holding up at all. In the previous method for this, you used to have to hold up for like 15 seconds, and that would run through a bunch of data and corrupt it. Uh, but with this, it's pretty much like, not going to touch any of the rest of the game, so it's fairly safe. Wow. Mm. GF That's... calls cheaters bad eggs. <laughs> yeah, um, Game Freak, the anti-cheat mechanisms in Emerald are actually the main reason that Palme Glitch is actually possible, because two of the mechanisms work together, so what happens to... So all the data in the game is held in RAM, essentially, 
and because Game Freak didn't want people to make easy action replay codes to just modify like bag items or Pokemon levels or something, that data actually shifts around randomly every time you like enter a menu or a new area and stuff like that. And because it shifts around, it means that the target for the corruption basically moves and we can hit anywhere that we want in theory. If it didn't move around, we probably wouldn't be able to hit the specific part of the Abra data we want. Who are all of the commentators? So Shiru and Ty Kevin were here from the start, and the one that has all of the intel intelligence and the good knowledge is Merp. <laughs> it's uh, it's very much feeling yeah, like I... you know when like researchers try and train monkeys to use tools. It very much feels like where all the monkeys and Merp has like the, the yes. notepad and is taking all of these notes. Can, can I be a donkey instead? <laughs> sure. Yes. I don't feel like donkeys can use tools. Then again, I don't know anything about the run that I'm doing right now, so... Donkeys are idiots, so am I. <laughs> Pokemon? I think the closest thing is maybe Girafferig? Uh... Zeb, Zeb Striker? Yeah, Mudbrake. Um, yeah, yeah. Mudbrake's more of a horse, though. I thought... I don't know, it's dirty. It's just... I don't know, it looks like a donkey. Shiru, do, do we love Flannery? It's, uh... I think I... it's described in the Pokedex as a donkey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a Pokedex entry that mentions donkey. I, I hate Flannery. <laughs> and I, I, I could hear you seething. Wait, so yes. if there's a Pokedex entry that mentions donkeys, does that imply that like donkeys actually exist in the Pokemon universe? Like, uh, that's really always been something that's really intrigued me. Is there, if there are normal animals? in the Pokemon universe. When Ash Ketchum has chicken wings, is he eating <laughs> Wingles or is he eating chicken? I, I think Torchic is more of a chicken than Wingle. I guess he's eating Torchics then. Let's make it better, yes. That makes it worse. Because Jimmy May have a Torchic, so he's just eating chicken wings while May is Torchic. I, I can only imagine. We the crit the talk old Shiro. We did wow, it! Nice. We did nice. it! Literally a perfect Flannery fight. I even got Smog Miss. Can you imagine a world? I cannot imagine a world. I'm currently seeing it. <laughs> Barely believe it with my own eyes. Wow. Nice. <laughs> imagine all the crits. It's easy if you try. <laughs> Torchic has like little wings, doesn't it? It's like super small, like. Tyrannosaur Rex, hence. Yeah, I don't think Torchic can actually fly with those wings, though. No, I don't think so. Guys, can we stop eating my childhood? Thanks. <laughs> I just cannot get this, imag this image <laughs> out of my brain of Torchic being cooked alive. I just love the first, was it the first series of Pokemon where they were very clearly holding rice balls and going, yum, this burger. Or whatever it was they were dubbing it over with. <laughs> very clearly not a burger. Oh boy. I'll turn this frying pan into a drawing. <laughs> the fake chicken or the bad egg. Jelly, Jelly donut, that was it, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Glad that there's people in chat that know that. And don't look when I absolutely saw this insane. A kid first, I was like, this these are not donuts. Like I don't know what these are, but they are not donuts. <laughs> I mean we have ice cream Pokemon. Presumably there could be donut Pokemon too. Then they introduce the ice cream Pokemon and then uh, actual ice cream items in the games at the same time. Yeah. Wait, since when is Farfetch eaten by humans? That's why it comes with a leak. Oh, Wait, no. far Farfetch'd is eaten by humans. Apparently. I think there's a Pokédex entry that says something like that, yeah. Can they not just make regular Pokémon entries? They just have to make nah. a weird thing. <laughs> well, you mean like where Drowsy kidnaps children and they never return? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you just interpret them as being written by a 10-year-old and not entirely <laughs> accurate. Oh, that's true. I mean, I guess... A ten-year-old is doing all the research. <laughs> Chidding so. is short for Christmas pudding. <laughs> they might just want to be like, you know, when I grow up, I want to be like Hypno. No, do not be like Hypno. That, that, you will get into jail. This is not good. 
Or like that one Pokemon that supposedly is hotter than the sun. Someone probably just hugged it and said, Wow, this is probably hotter than the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm melting. This is very hot. I have a problem with consuming, like, the cute Pokemon. Consume? Well, someone said, am I the only person who doesn't have a problem with eating Pokemon? Oh. Would Pokemon eggs taste good? Well, the one we're gonna have in this... <laughs> it's gonna taste great. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes weird. <laughs> Meeper is the king of brawly fights. Actually, I feel personally attacked. I always forget that you guys do the Brawly fight really late, like, just before Norman. Yeah, it's garbage otherwise. <clears throat> it is garbage. How did you die to Brawly at 60 HP? I No, I went in a... what was it, about 38-40? And I got Mudshot Miss, Bulk Up, uh, Mudshot, Bulk Up. Mud shot, which didn't kill, into vital throw crit. That is great. Wow. Yeah. And I think we'd had a conversation earlier in that run along the lines of, uh, has anybody ever died to Brawly in a run? I was like, no, it's basically impossible. <laughs> yeah, like, I was counting my deaths in my grind of Emerald, and I didn't even consider Brawly a possible death, so I didn't count the trainer. <laughs> I don't think it really is. Like, that's insane. Double, Quite silly. Double bulk ups wild in the first place. I don't think I've ever seen that. We are. Well, we are coming to the start of the changes. Yeah. We're going to be doing some different stuff than we would normally do. After the first two trainers, I'm going to be equipping the experience share to Abra. And that will be so that it gets good EVs off of certain Pokemon. Do not rare candy the Abra. Good job. So we want attack and HP. Um, it's going to have the XP share for a few other Pokemon in Norman's fight that don't give good EVs, but they don't matter. Oh yeah, because... Wait, doesn't slacking give HP? Yeah, slacking does, but the, um, we used to but sack... We want that, Yeah, yeah. Right? We, we do, okay. yeah. We, we used to sack uh, Abra for... Mm -hmm on Spinder and then revive it on Slacking so that it didn't get all the extra experience, but it's faster to not do that. And just accept the extra four levels you get. I dislike this Swallow. It always crits me. It did not crit me. Excellent. I have died to this Swallow. I have also died to that Swallow. I love going in at 60 HP and you get wing attack into wing attack crit. I was a fool and I got double crit. I, I felt attacked. You need high rolls for that as well, don't you? That's not guaranteed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty gross. Pretty gross. It is gross. It's very kinda, disgusting. I kind of wish they'd do more gems that were themed like the Petal Bird gem instead of just one type. Mm -hmm. What if yeah, it still like... is one type? But... They're supposed to have, like, confusion or speed attack. They have their own niche or something. Mm. I got Dizzy Punch confused. Shades of Pokey Guy up in this run. He was I... died to this fight, like, four times because of Dizzy Punch confusion. Relatable. <laughs> Just don't crit me, my dude. Alright, so Jody is literally the worst fight in the run, and I will hear no argument otherwise. There's Roxanne. I know, I hate Jody. Really sucks. Uh, this is where we attach the XP share, if I remember, if I'm good at video games. Debatable whether I, whether I am or not, well, I'm definitely not good is, at words. The next one is Zangus, right? So yes. Okay. Yeah, two extra attack. So this is where we start the EV training, but we have to get past Norman for Surf to get the Pomeg berries. So after Norman, things will get weird. Oh yeah, things get very weird. I remember I was really frustrated because I was doing research on Japanese Ruby, and it turns out you can almost skip the water on Route 118 with the mail glitch. 
but it comes up one tile short of letting you skip it because with Mail Glitch you can corrupt tiles. So if you can corrupt like a tile next to the shore to be water and then stand on it, then you could surf you could surf across the water um, early. Oh wow! But it doesn't work because it's one tile short and it was really frustrating. That's very annoying. Mm -hmm. That sounds amazing. If they can get that to work. Mm -hmm. It's like it's less powerful in Ruby because sure you can skip Route 118, but um, I'm pretty sure you still have to fight Brawly and Winona because in Ru Ruby doesn't have a uh, Ame glitch. Yeah, it's amazing seeing Game Freak program some of the buggiest games in the history of video games in Gen 1 and 2. And then they make Gen 3 and it's like, wait, we can't find anything. <laughs> it was almost like they went, no, this is too solid. Let's introduce something dodgy. <laughs> Let's make the Pomeg <laughs> Berry do something weird. Yeah, and then they went back and made the Pomeg <laughs> Are we going to cancel our evolution? Uh, we are n we are just gonna fall short of it evolving. Mm. We get to level fifteen, but not sixteen. I hate that. Well, wouldn't evolution kind of take time if oh, you yeah. watch the animation or to cancel it? <laughs> yeah, if yes, uh, but, but if I if I remember my you know myself as a child playing with an abra, I was so excited to see it evolve. <laughs> so it would be useful. And canceling it just destroys everything. So this is where we start having to do some moderate maths because slacking we would normally be using Mudshot for. But we're going to teach Tate down and we're going to probably want to take some damage if he doesn't play ball. There's a, there's a lot that can go wrong and it's very difficult to try and explain what goes wrong here <laughs> if it does. Did they remove the dev console to add the palm English? Um, no actually, as, as far as I know, Nintendo Game Freak just did not know that the Palm Glitch existed until years later. Um, it was actually when... Are we allowed to talk about, like, the, the Gen 3 leaks, or...? Uh... I missed oh, much shot, nice. <laughs> yeah, you can talk about the Gen 3 um, leaks. Cause, like, this was before, like, um, the big, like, Super Mario leak. It was, like, a month before, um, a bunch of, like, Game Freak's dev materials, uh, leaked. Not source code for Emerald, but their... Uh, issue tracker basically like where they had all their like bugs listed that they patched um, that leaked and I translated some of it and like looked for any mention of like palm egg and there was nothing in there so as far as I know they just didn't know that it existed all right so this is where the fun begins so I'm at 64 health rock smash counter can't kill unless I absolutely high roll he countered thank god I died never mind I lied wow what why did that did die Oh. That was like the high, that must have been a one in sixteen roll. Oh wow, that's cool. Is the one in sixteen thirty two? Must be yeah, because I'm sure that sixty four cool. is like the maximum you can take from counter. Damage rolls, there's like sixteen different rolls that it can have. Um, some of them do the same amount of damage, but yeah, it's one in sixteen probably. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh well. Well, we have to watch this fight again, but this fight is great. I love it. I love this fight. I did want to point out, until that death, I'd actually saved two minutes from on my PB from the Mudkit Manip to here. We were actually on passable pace at that point. So shout-outs to Norman for being an ass. <laughs> All my homies hate Norman. Oh, they do. Right, we get to see this fight again. Excellent. <laughs> Seen this part again, can we read some donations? No. Actually, we had one bid from someone before. You can donate for my sanity. Okay. It's going to require a lot. I wish this guy who donated one one bid and said something. Thank you, Crafted, for the million bits. Oh, he's facaded mm -hmm. turn one. Give me another one and we can do more fun stuff. Of course you don't. Very rude. One bit from Edgy something. <laughs> Thank you for these bits towards my sanity. I'm feeling better already. That's a lie. Uh, I'm playing Emerald. Oh my gosh, we have three <laughs> donations. <laughs> three one-bit donations. Oh my god. One bit. Etchy, thank you for the one-bit something. <laughs> Sheep. 
first time donator long time watcher my best friend once played pokemon so this cause close to my heart can you not teeter Her. dance my guy <laughs> sorry <scared>. it's okay <laughs> jesus Her. with the one bit shiro hello hello and echo with the 69 bits nice nice, nice. wow nice. 69 is 69 the funny number it is the fu it is one of the funny numbers i've heard tale of 420. there are multiple ha uh -huh, <laughs> funny meme someone should donate 611. he's done great he creepy stop dying to norman please i was gonna live that if he didn't crit please let me live I'm gonna go back to me, <laughs> that Amoeba can have fun with us. I want to cry. I can't even get to the difficult bit. <laughs> it's Jody Wait, number three. Wanna... Come on, Jody, get me. Difficult bit. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hope you're all strapped in. I would like to get off any percent wild ride now. Crit me. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let's go for death number three. Oh, it's double sword stance, okay. I really <laughs> thought William was better here. Everybody's spelling Jody, i.e. in the chat. You are misspelling this nice lady's name, who has let me go past three times unimpeded. I'm gonna save for Norman this time. <laughs> okay, I turned my mic up a little bit. Hello. That is slightly nicer. Jo Jody, why? That's just my Britishness, I'm not being rude, I promise. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not intentionally being rude. We saved for Norman, guys. We did it. Nice. Now we're gonna win. Yeah, sarcasm's just like the default mode for British people. We have to remember to correct it if we're being uh, multinational. <laughs> Is this world record 100%? There are no donations at this time. Watch this double facade. Because there's the first one. Mm -hmm. There's the second one. Oh my god. LMAO. LMAO. So now we get to skip the dude with Tita Dance, who is very rude. We don't like <laughs> him. I love the dude with Tita Dance. We do not speak his name. He who shall not be named. Probably gonna have to heal on Viggy. Please don't grip me. He's a, he's a panda. I hate- I, can we talk about how bad pandas are? I hate pandas. Wait, why? <laughs> They're useless. I hate pandas. No! Pandas are just made to be cute. And They're too so stupid to cute sex themselves off of the endangered species list. I hate them. <laughs> well, that's, that's <laughs> But they're cute! <laughs> anything. They can't eat anything other than the least nutritious food in the world. Bamboo. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty, like, fascinating, not... though. That, like, it... They evolved to eat the most difficult thing that you could possibly choose to eat. <laughs> I thought that was koalas eating eucalyptus, which has almost zero nutritional value, so they need to eat <laughs> So much of it just to survive. That, that might be true, yeah. Bamboo's not great though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pandas actively try to stop existing, exactly. No. Are we, we are anti panda in this house. I don't care. I'm never allowed back on PSRM, but that's fine. The people will hear the truth. I mean, be honest, is Stertoria's favorite animal the panda? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't eucalyptus also toxic to koalas too? Slightly? Yes, it's even toxic to koalas. That's pathetic! How dumb can you be? <laughs> Alright, we got a good slacking if I hit this strength, which is very hard to miss, fun fact. Because it's 100% accurate. So... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we go. So this is the fun bit. I now have 11 health. I'm going to... and Abra has... or oh, what does it have? It has 4 HP EVs less than it needs and it has 4 attack EVs less than it needs. So I need to go and bop 4 very low level pooches and wormples to get the right EVs, but I also need to take down certain ones so that Marsh Tomp ends up on 1 HP. I am going to have to rare candy Marsh Tomp after I beat 
two worm pulls and get two extra HP EVs because that's the point where mm. Marsh Jump has enough HP EVs that the Pomade Glitch will work. So I have to do a fair bit of math here. Did I say I had 11 health? I've already forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was I 11. So. Yeah. Uh, you, you had 11, yeah. Yeah. So after I rare candy, I will have 15, but I can't rare candy initially necessarily. So I need to be on one, so I need to take 14 recoil, which is a trash number, I think. It's really, really bad. Uh, how do I do 14 in threes and fours? Three, six. I have to do two threes and two fours. That's possibly the worst low HP you can get. <laughs> Excellent. Why not? So, first off, we're going to go pick up the rare candy that I mentioned earlier. So I can it actually always use it later. bothers me how Wally's uncle just doesn't have a name. He's just known as Uncle. Like, just... at all points in the game. The ra Ranger, it's hard, like, having this low IQ, okay? It takes me a long while. I have to do very basic math right now. My brain is at maximum capacity. So I have to take a three... I have to take two threes and two fours. Fours are guaranteed from level four Pokemon. Threes are guaranteed from level two. Level threes are basically a gamble. So this could be interesting. That's a low tad again. Mm -hmm. Very nice to see you again, my friend, but I actually don't need you. And goodbye. By the way, Amoeba, I believe I have 20 less IQ than you. So if you're not <laughs> understanding something, I'm not understanding something. It's all right, man. That's, uh, that might be like... So what, So what, how much IQ have we got between us? 21? Good, good start. All right, so that's the first pooch. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we are one and zero. It's very, very important. I maintain the... <laughs> I count how many of these I beat. So I'm going to be repeating it tons. That's one and zero. I, I have love eight to health. Have 21 AQ. <laughs> Garth, that is a hell of a reference. Yuma Guaygui Fidey Zao. What an excellent cartoon. Oh, that's the other cartoon I used to watch. Or the American Dragon. <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> that's an amazing cartoon. Right, so that's one and one. It's, we want worm pulls early, ideally, because we can go to the route above this one to get pooches more commonly. So earlier worm pulls are better. I've taken two lots of three, so I want to see level fours now, but they're so rare. It's, it's kind of difficult. I don't risk it, because if I take three damage here, it becomes very difficult to hit one. So that's two and one. Guys, help me count. Yeah, Tekel's got the right idea. Make sure that I'm not really... Because there will be a point somewhere, because I'm talking too much, where I go, mm -hmm. wait, how many have I killed? <laughs> This is two and two, so we can rare candy after this now. Yes. <laughs> nice, worm bolts early are good. Yes. Two and two is quite nice. Problem is, is I really want to see some level fours now, and they're so rare. Because I have to take eight recoil, and I can't get to low health in, th like, three recoils now. I need two fours. This is have you three ever, and two. Go have on. you ever missed take down into tackle crit? Uh, yes. Pract funnily enough, practice run that I did two days ago. I died to take down Miss Tackle for it. That sounds fun. It is not. Cannot recommend oh. out of ten. This is four and two. Ah, oh, so I've got worm pulls left. This is not great. Level four worm pulls are possibly the rarest encounter on this route. Probably gonna have to go north and farm for level four encounters after this just to get my HP lower. Thank you, Kurt, my biggest fan. One um, bit from Kurt. Pooch, I love you, but I don't love you right now. I need you to be a friend and leave me alone. I need my good friend, Worm. Mm -mm, my guy, my good friend, my pal. I need you to leave me alone. I need your good friend, the Worm. The Worm, I love the, the Worm. worm. It's so red. What is this all for? We are getting EVs on our Abra. We need specific EVs. Pooch, my good friend. My good <laughs> pal. It is a pleasure to see you again once again. But it is not the greatest of time. <laughs> it's like one of those dogs that just keep licking your arm. Just, I, <laughs> I, I you, really thought you were going to say a different word there. <laughs> <laughs> is it leg? <laughs> it began with A as well. Oh. <laughs> No, it's, don't worry, mate. It's nothing you did. It was definitely my brain doing strange stuff. Please carry on. Yes. Yeah, it's like one of those dogs that keeps licking your ass. Your, your leg. 
Wait, how many wormholes is that? This I'm on the fourth one now. So I just okay. need I just need to go and bop anything to get that's level four to get the recoil, correct? <laughs> We're gonna go north because the level fours are a bit more common here. <laughs> it's a shame, Kurt, but I understand. Oh, look at that, level 4 pooch, my good friend. He'll leave. No, actually, I'm fine with that. It's level 4. I wanted that this time. Okay. <laughs> he can stay and yeah. die. I need one more level 4, and then we need to get literally anything and bring Abra out. That's a level 3. Zigzagoon, my good friend. Save, please. Save, please. Uh, mm, uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. <laughs> Save, please. I might take, I might take, uh, I might take Crafted's advice there. Probably sensible. This is a bad time for it to all go wrong. I literally do die to mm. take down Miss Tackle Grip. We have to do all of this EV training again. Don't <laughs> say before you do the whole thing. Uh, hmm, poor choice. I need a level four, my good friend. Actually, not a good friend. I don't like Wingle. We're not a fan of Wingle here. Not in this house. Yeah, I'm level. <laughs> level 4. I don't care what you are, but you need to be level 4. You I'm are more level by oh, you could... than Wingle, honestly. You could also just fall on level 2 Puchianos, right? I could, but it's so slow. The only way to stall properly is to switch and switch back, which is so slow. Ooh. Yeah, and then crit kills me as well. Which is not well, great. It would be nice to have X items for that. Ah. Every Pelipper has Protect as a rule. Come on, Pooch, level 4, level 4. Come on! This is so bad, we found one straight away. I literally need one more. Anything, anything at all. Doesn't matter what it is, I just need it to be level 4. Zigzagoon, my good friend, you are level 3. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Shiny hunting, yeah. exactly. Ah, I can't you know that this. raccoons are also called trash pandas. <laughs> no, raccoons are okay. They're not real pandas. They're more resourceful than actual pandas. Take the 50-50 on a level 3 and reset if it's not. Joe J-O-J with the strats in the chat. I'm going to go with that. I like this. It may not be a 50-50, but it is pretty good for certain Pokemon. It's fine. We just got level 4 pooch. Easy. J-O-J actually bring in very smart brain strats Thank there. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I need you. I need one more. All I need to do here is switch Abra out and then run away or teleport. And that's because we have to have Abra as the final Pokemon in the last battle that you did. And away we go. We can actually do something fun now. Imagine a world. I cannot imagine. Just kidding, I need to go get some berries. We've got some gardening to do. But that's fun, I play Animal Crossing. We're not really gardening, we're just ripping berries <laughs> out of an old man's <laughs> We've berry got, patch. We have to undo somebody else's gardening. <laughs> we have to fix the mistake he has made. It's like playing Minecraft. You go to a village and you just steal everything. So you're saying that Emerald Any% Percent is the Minecraft of PSR? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I guess we can't have that title. Is, is this run this, possible? Um, yes. Well, I, I guess. Because you can use the C dot instead of ever. Brings a whole new meaning to any percent set seed. <laughs> Right, everything is in place. Just kidding, we need to go and write some stuff in a PC. The team Man. XP share off Abra, yes. You, 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 you kid, you, you've been kidding us for so long. I'm sorry. I wanna see an I'm, egg. I'm just messing about. I'm gonna get to the end and be like, yeah, nothing's actually gonna happen. I just wanted to see how long you all stuck with me. Oh. So was, any percent is just a prank. It was a prank all along, bro. Nice. What are you typing in this PC? Are you drunk? <laughs> M. Floyd Rowe. M. Floyd Rowe. And then I call this one Space Set of Tomorrow. This one is a set of little ones. 
I call it call stuff sets because that question mark apostrophe th apostrophe thing pops up a lot. So I just refer to it as a set. And then this one is Een, but how many? It's E Y N question mark lowercase n. I need to put spaces after that. Never mind. The reason for all the question mark quotes is because box names. Uh, so you can type eight characters, but there's actually like a ninth character to mark the end of the string. So they're nine. They're actually like nine bytes long, and because an instruction is only eight bytes, like basically it cycles, and you need like a dummy instruction every so often. So that's what the question mark quote is for. It's just it's just an instruction that does nothing. Oh. I have a name for that box, but I can't say it on stream because it's PG. <laughs> but it's called F Hen, so I think you can all use your imagination. Uh, F Hen. F Hen. Does is it have to do with the English name for cigarettes? What is naming the box? <laughs> no, that would be that would be somewhat ruder than what I was going for, or somewhat meaner. This one was just E. Right. It's my favorite one. We need to save now in case we are unlucky for later. But everything should have come together right now. And this is where stuff actually starts kicking off. Butchers. So, oh. we use the Pomeg Berry on our Marsh Tomp, who is the only alive Pokemon in our team right now. That Pomeg Berry has lowered its HP EVs, which lowers its overall HP, so Marsh Tomp is now dead. I currently do not have an alive Pokemon in my party. And the last well, Pokemon the that was sent, know. yeah, the game doesn't know. And the last Pokemon I sent out was in slot three. I also don't have a Pokemon in slot three, so this is what happens. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait. And then we check the summary of our dear Marsh Tomp. We back out. We press up three times. We back out again because we've now underflown our menu? Question mark. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, it's like this part is always like I've always been haven't fully understood it, but essentially the game thinks you have zero Pokemon, and when you refresh the summary, it rolls over to 255 and lets you scroll up past the last one. At least that's what I think happens, and when you scroll up past the last one, you're actually reading data in the PC. There you go. Yeah, so... And as you... Sorry, go, go on. on. No, you're alright, you're alright. Oh. Um, and as you read that data, the game is checking uh, every so often, if the block of data that it's reading that's a Pokemon in size is valid data or not, but because um, the data is shifted around a bit randomly, like I said earlier, it will sometimes just read random blocks that don't correspond to an actual Pokemon, and when it does that, it can flip some bits by setting that Pokemon to be invalid, essentially, and that's what we're trying to do to Abra, to flip this one bit. Also, yeah, I linked my YouTube channel in chat for the person who asked. Yeah, do it again. Okay. Merp is the the, times. the genius behind this run mm -hmm. existing in the first place. Go and follow. Also, do mm -hmm. also has a great is it yes. Emerald JPN Tass? Yes. Yeah. Of yes. this mm -hmm. same thing, but obviously it does it a lot faster. Oh uh, yeah. Current time for it is fifty four fifty four. So. The reason I'm going into the box and then not doing anything at the moment is that I need to check whether that Abra has been corrupted or not. And it's really, really apparent if it has, because it will no longer be an Abra. Would Emerald Japan RTA still have the 1 in 32? Yes, it would. Um, RTA JPN probably wouldn't be faster, just because it would probably be about the same. Like, it would be a toss-up, essentially. Uh, the only reason that it's faster... Um, on a task is it's like five box names instead of eight and you can enter them super optimized nice mm -hmm. well, yeah so we yeah. this run basically involves sitting here and doing this until the one in 32 chance lines up mm -hmm. and I'm How really you know? this is the point where we really wanted this to be a race because there would hopefully be two of us here because I currently have to, to 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I have 10 minutes left of this estimate to try and get lucky and hit this. So this could be where the run is all for nothing and we don't actually hit it in a red relatively quick time. But I will do my best. Mm -hmm. Good uh, luck. You should set up a custom channel URL so your URL isn't a bunch of random I, Oh yeah, I should. Um, 
I just I don't really post on it a lot. I like have the new version of the tasks on it, but it hasn't been published yet because I'm still working on it. Uh, but yeah, I'll try and do that in the future. Cool. Um, yeah, that's yeah. weird requirements. You like upload channel art to have a URL. Oh, what? That's weird. Yeah. Okay. The reason it's a JPN task is because originally I was doing uh, a different glitch that was only really possible to do on JPN. It was still arbitrary code execution, but it was using glitch moves instead of glitch animations. And you can't really do it on English because you need to write an extra piece of code that you can't write with English characters. <laughs> mm -hmm. gotcha. And actually getting the code that works in this run to work with English characters is really hard because... So on Japanese, you have almost every byte available to you because there's like 250 characters or that. Uh, but on English, you only have about 80 or so. Um, so just the instructions that you can actually write are very limited and it takes a lot of like ingenuity to come up with them. Can I say, we actually got a level of good luck in this run that I don't seem to be getting bad eggs. I've done maybe nine corruptions now. That's a reasonable chance. How do you know when you can do stuff that, are, that is good? The Avro will be an egg, and it will not be a bad egg. But we're not going to get... I think it's unlikely that we're going to get bad eggs because... Also the it Pokeball have shown up. that it's in. Nest ball? Mm -hmm. I didn't actually know. No. Wow. I got one the other day where it was a good egg, but it was in a luxury ball, and when I checked the summary, the game crashed. I don't know what that was about. I think I may have set something up wrong. Oh. Hmm. It's unlucky. Yeah, can we, strange. can we follow Garth's lead in the chat? Can we have a wall of Kevin Turtles? We'll go for some old school <laughs> PSR good luck to spirit right. bomb this one in 32 to actually happen. I am currently spamming. <laughs> I reject your Kevin Turtle and say, Hi Kevin, what Trav? Oh boy. Oh, this is looking it's good. This is looking good. Keep it up, lads. I'm I'm very confident for this attempt. I bonked wow. as well. Definitely gonna happen now. You bonked? Yep. Ty no. Kevin desynced. You bonked. <laughs> Kevin Squirtles, not a bad choice. I'm I'm down for that. Not a bad choice. Is this a bad choice? Let's see if you can see it. This run is a bad choice, yeah. Uh, that is actually an impressive number of Kevin Turtles, though. <laughs> I saw that, sure. Yeah, I just post both, just to promote myself. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while we are grinding this, I do want to say, because if this all happens and kicks off, it's going to kick off real quick, so I'm going to mention it now, and it may not kick off at all. Thank you very much to my co-commentators, all three. Ty and Shiru for stepping in at the last minute. Much appreciated. And Merp with the... I mean, creating this category basically as it exists now and with the actual useful like information on the category mm -hmm. that I definitely didn't know. Much appreciated. Everybody should go and follow these wonderful people. Yes, thank you, Merp. I didn't know any of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I was late. Um, <laughs> I was at the grocery store because I thought the actual time was in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you got here for the important bit. I, I can do the glitchless stuff pretty well, but I can't can't talk about mm -hmm. glitched. That happened to me with the last podcast. Uh, did the Emerald JPN task get an update? Um, it's like unpublished right now. Uh, but the new update is fifty four fifty four. I'm just like been slacking on actually finishing it so that I can have it published on task videos. So, but it'll be awesome. Riot. Well, I worked really hard to get it sub-55 because <laughs> I, I actually had to, to optimize that. I had to optimize, like, entering the box names because I was losing, like, 8 seconds. It was 55.08, and I was like, that's too oh, disappointing. Man. I can't have it be 55.08. Oh. Yeah, I actually, like, had to mm -hmm. uh, figure out on the Game Boy the whole, like, cycle timing thing because mm -hmm. my first pass at Pokemon Blue was 130 something if you timed it by oh. frames. Oh, but there was a really? Cycle time to get you. A bad egg right now? Oh, oh no. Wow. Dude, that's like, how long did that take to find? 
And the markings are corrupted too. All right, so that's is that bad. That is worst case scenario. We have to withdraw oh, no. Abra again, reflash it in a battle, reset up the pomegranate glitch, and then grind again. And every time we find a bad egg, we'll have to do that again. So uh, remember that when I said we wouldn't hit this. <laughs> oh, it feels bad. I do remember. Fingers crossed for this next next few attempts. We're still it's two. Anyway. And, we're still two and a half minutes underestimate. <laughs> There's a chance. It's real slim, but there's a chance. Wow, that would be so epic if it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think I literally need first try after I've set this up. <laughs> I believe we did lose five minutes because of my horrible timing skills. Oh, I'm on uh, I'm on the official amoeba timer. Oh, the amoeba timer? Okay. <laughs> Patent pending. Nice. Also, Merbs, I asked about 50 different times. Mm. So many different people about time zones. Like, last night, Amiga was about to go to bed, I'm like, Hey, can you confirm times for me, please? <laughs> time zones <laughs> suck. Time zones are they really do. the worst. Can we all just live in the same spot? No. <laughs> it's so much easier. Everybody should like, just switch to GMT. Time zones do you mean the same point in space? Like... Time is just a concept. Wow. Time is just a concept of human perception. An illusion oh. created by... <laughs> I love concept. That's, that's an obs that is an obscure reference, I apologize. It's okay, I didn't get it. Isn't that don't hug me, I'm scared? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna do the screaming bit because that would have been unpleasant, but yeah. Oh man, those were creepy. It would have been a bit cringe. <laughs> Thank you, Shira. You're welcome. Another one marked down for the patronize table. <laughs> may not be uh, may not be a finished run, guys, but we uh, we hit the patronize PP. I mean, we can imagine what will happen. You win, <laughs> and you lose this game. Picture in your mind. It's it's gonna look so much nicer if all of the stuff that we've done before this actually has a purpose, though. <laughs> I, it would be really quite nice. It's okay. So, Amiba, why is there sometimes where you're not checking the Abra at all? Because you can do no, more, than, more than one corruption at a time, and it's faster than going and checking every time. YOLO, nice. On the presumption that, you know, you're not going to hit 1 in 32 that often, so... Wow. Come on, boys, let's go. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. I want this to have been worth something. <laughs> this is very funny. <laughs> Instead of a cheater, Amiibo, you should just finish the game properly. Oh, that's, yeah. I mean... Yeah, I should have just gone to Glitchless. Should have said sod it to the estimate and done the next extra hour and played the game properly. Yes. I cheated not, not only the game, but myself. Mm. World record is five times. Startorius is three. But well, that was before takedown strats, so he loses time What's well, world record most uh, in a row that have been missed? <sighs> I've, 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 spent, seen 50. I've spent an hour and a half once. Not getting it. Do, but that do we is... have a time? The time right now for the run? I mean, do we have that much time? No. <laughs> Which is why we needed two people on it. It was a reason. It was a pretty good chance that one of us would have hit it within the fifteen minutes that we had to grind through this. If there was two of us doing it. But... Also, uh, I have another question. Go ahead. Why? Uh, why do we deposit? Ever in that exact spot. Uh, because that's the first slot that gets corrupted with Palm and Glitch. When you scroll up in the party, it just jumps to that space in memory. And as you continue to scroll up, it goes up through the PC and then up through like a bunch of flag data and stuff like that. Um, but by putting it there, we can just press up just once, basically. And it's faster than putting it like higher up in the PC. I see. Very nice, thank you. When are we getting SID minute or whatever it is that will eliminate this one in 32? Um, right now. Well, it's basically you need um, you need like you need to know your SID and you need to manip a specific battle essentially because that will give you the right like alignment essentially. It's I don't know if it's human feasible. <laughs> um, even in the task, it's really hard to do um to get like a battle that actually gives me. The right alignment. Um, 
Yeah, I really want it to not be a 1 in 32, but maybe someday. It'll happen, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Ty, I'm going to ask the important question. As a fellow member of the committee, what do you think is a reasonable overtime where we have to call this and say that it's dead? Uh, I mean, I'll give you another 15 minutes. Ooh, generous. I will take what I get. <laughs> I apologize greatly to the next run, which will definitely be a lot better than this. Maybe not human feasible, but is it Shiro feasible? Well, the main problem is that you don't really have any way of knowing that you got your SIT right until you actually go to do, like, the final battle, essentially. Yeah. It's just like, you can do the manip for SID, but you won't actually know whether it worked. Someone just mentioned about, can the Abra be silently corrupted if the box markers get corrupted? Uh, you um, can get corrupted box markers, but I don't think that mm -hmm. breaks it. Um, it does if you look at the summary, oh. if you corrupt the markings. Uh, I actually was going to look into that to see um, if corrupted markings could be used for code, code execution, but I never finished, like, the research for that. Because there's a bunch of different marking combinations that you can get by corrupting them, and looking at them crashes the game, which is a good sign that you can maybe convince it to not crash the game and do something you want. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was saying earlier, um... The one in the one thirty, like hour and thirty long blue tasks, it was just mm -hmm. over one thirty at first. But there was an issue with the timing of Game Boy runs, because mm -hmm. they don't time exactly with frames. And so I had it retimed by the cycle and it was below one thirty. Nice. Was it like one twenty nine point nine or something? It was one twenty nine fifty three. It's actually like a pretty big difference between the the uh cycle in the frame timing because there's like frames mm -hmm. that where the lcd is off so they're like not real frames they're like arbitrary lengths of time mm -hmm. but anyway in, in gba you don't have that so you just have for a one frame equals 59 point something point. seven two yeah. something it's like an exact yeah. fraction i forget what it is No, go for it, sure. Do it. Oh, I don't think <laughs> I can. It's way later than that. Yeah. 59.7276 FPS. Business, sure. <laughs> I'm very professional right now, I'm sorry. I understand. <laughs> Crafted Crafted up in redeeming patronize me all run. <laughs> Am I wearing is I'm naked, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we should have PSR TV two so we can push you over to the, the backup screen. <laughs> just see how long it takes me to get it. <laughs> Five hours later. <laughs> We're just gonna check in on Amoeba. Oh he's still in Marvel. <laughs> I've always actually wanted to have like a marathon where they have like a bunch of shorter runs on one stream. And then longer runs like the Bat and Kaidos on another stream. And they just like checking with the Bat and Kaidos guy every once in a while. It's like, yep, still waiting for my hairbrush. <laughs> I'm gonna go check in on Bafan, who is asleep. Hello, let's go, go, go. What run do we have up next? What's coming up? I have forgotten. Fire Red uh, Round 2. Ooh, from Sparkle Lantern. Already y'all, uh, uh... What do you call it? The Marathon Favorite. E4 Round 2. It's very good. Greatly enjoy the Sparkle category. Lantern. Did they do any of the, um... You know how you can help menu Manip and Fire Red Leaf Green? Do they do that in, like, actual RTA runs? No, 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 no. The... The uh, Fire Red Leaf Green, um, it's actually really hard to manipulate in Fire Red Leaf Green because there's a, like a Charizard sprite in the startup that like, cycles the RNG way faster than some of the other um, games. So it's actually really difficult to get a uh, set seed figured out on FRLG. I got bad egg number two. Mm -hmm. It's theoretically possible to manipulate your starter, 
but you would have to, um, you'd have to hit, like, three one-frame windows. The thing is that I, I think it might actually be worth it for somebody to figure out and, like, grind how to do it, because in FRLG, your encounters are also heavily related to your seed. So... Mm. Yeah, like, you can't avoid encounters indefinitely in Fire, Firebrand Leaf Green. Yeah. If I remember right, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, if, if you could theoretically manip your seed in FRLG and get the same starter that we run, you could also potentially get on a seed with very few encounters. Mm-hmm. Alright, here we go. The Abra's got 26 HP. This is now guaranteed. 100%. Nice. Because this is the last attempt. If we if we bad egg again, we are... I, I am electing to mercy kill my own run. Nice. Can a man get some Kevin Turtles in the chat, please? You can. Okay, hang on. I'm looking for them. There they are. We're expecting Aber to turn into an egg. Here we go, boys. It's the last few attempts. I'm really hoping this happens. I'll be kind of sad Same. if it doesn't, because... Yeah, I just will be. This will be a learning lesson for everybody in the future. Do not submit this category to any marathon ever. I love this ever. category, though. I do, I love it. It's really unique, mm -hmm. but it's very punishing. Have we seen Plusle? We have not. I saw two in the practice run. I have to be quite careful with the menuing, because if I go back into the Pokémon party after I've exited, it heals all of my Pokemon when I come back out, and I have to reset everything up again. So it's not like I'm just grinding through this and taking it as mm -hmm. blandly as I can. I have to actually pay attention every time I'm doing this, which is a little difficult when you get this far into it. We did see a Minon, though. Oh, you will see a few Minons. There was a wonderful mm -hmm. clip somewhere where I was running this category, and I went, right, can we all wish for good luck, ran into the grass and got a shiny Minon? I was like, wrong kind, but sure. <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> I guess there's a chance for the Abra to be shiny. Yeah, well, there's a chance for anything still to be yeah, shiny, yeah, even though we it. manip it. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, if your ID is... Shiny Decamarks. I actually, I think it just shows the same color. Uh, but just does the little shiny jingle. Can you catch a Decamark? I think in certain, certain circumstances, yeah. Um, it depends on, it has to be a well-behaved Decamark, um, that when you look at it, uh, well, I guess you can have animations turned off, and you could catch one then. Guys, what's it? Like, because, like, 90% of them, <gasps> when you look at their animation, Please. it crashes the game. L Luxury Ball? That's not it, is it? Luxury Ball Egg? Know. What is that? I don't know. Is this it? Probably not. <laughs> Let's bike around and see if it hatches anyway. This is the end All of right. the run, one way or the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think this is a this is a, a bad egg, isn't it? It's like one of them. Well, didn't you say you got a luxury ball and it worked? No, once? it crashed. When I would check the summary, oh. it crashed. But this is uh... okay. <laughs> Could be it. If this it's is not the it. wrong, if this is the wrong egg, it'll just hatch into an abra. <laughs> Did it oh. hatch at all? I've never seen them hatch. They fit the well, wrong egg. It's because they're um. I think what happens is the cycle value for the egg cycle is too high, and it like takes a long time to hatch. Dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is right, guys. This will eventually yeah. hatch. This might actually eventually. take longer than... <laughs> Resetting, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think this is it. I think, I think we mercy kill this sorry excuse for a run. But I would like to thank everybody in chat for mm -hmm. sticking through it with me. We had a decent setup for trying to show this off. And unfortunately, things fell through. It's supposed to hatch into 
uh, a thing that runs the code we wrote in the box names and teleports us to... Do we do credits in this or the map warp? I forget. Oh, we do Hall of Fame. Oh, Hall of Fame, yeah? Yeah, well, yeah you basically, like, literally hatch the Hall of Fame. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's the animation oh, of the thing playing, isn't it, that it tells yeah, it to... Yeah, exactly. When the egg hatches uh, and you see the animation, it actually calls RAM data which is actually in box 11 of the PC, and then it just slides all the way through to the box names, which are right after, like, the actual PC Pokemon data. But yeah, definitely recommend everybody checking out the the tasks, the tasks of this, because you'll get to see what the actual payoff is. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it live right now. Mm. But what is a Pokemon marathon without RNG? I don't know if we're going to be... I'm going to be biking for so long before this actually hatches. Someone said around 70 step cycles. That's like... A lot. Uh, that's that's, that's a like lot. 1,600 steps or something stupid. Yes, yeah, Dexy, 1536. Of another frustrating thing um, with the task was because egg cycles are on a step timer, I was like 30 steps short of making the like last cycle. So I had to like, bike like 200 steps really fast. Oh, I can get the timestamp of the actual part that's supposed to... That would be good, yeah, so that people yeah. can at least go watch that now, while we mm -hmm. set up for the next one. Alright. Hatches into the berry program update. Well, you can do that. Um, I'm pretty sure there's at least one function that you could call that would do the berry program update. That would be like my worst nightmare. <laughs> someone, we should set that up for someone, get someone to do it, but it takes them to a weird place that they're not aware of, and they just have to follow the instructions oh, um, as they go. Oh yeah, I did that, um, so when I was doing the map warp payloads, I made one that takes you to inside of the truck. From the beginning of the game. <laughs> Congrats on world record. The right, you should look on the bright side of me, but at least you didn't lose the race. <laughs> 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 yep, I I won this, a hundred percent. I am definitely a winner. <laughs> this egg's not even hatching. Congratulations, Amiibo. <laughs> so uh, we could rig the. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, we could make the uh, timer go down to uh, zero again if needed. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's three seconds. Don't, don't make it look too record. obvious. Just stick it on three seconds and then somebody's yeah, got a chance to beat it. Three second uh, world yeah. record. Easy. This egg still says the same message. We are going to be here a while if we sit here and watch this hatch. Would we like to wrap yeah, it up I to the next should, game? Uh, I think we should call it here. <laughs> call it here. Call it try Amoeba. <laughs> but it's, uh, Did it's my best. Right. Uh, Amoeba, when should we split? Now. Go. Now. Right now. We did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could... ten. Congratulations, Amoeba. Good job. Sub two. Oh, yeah, record. you could go into a wild battle to see if the if it's an Abbott inside. Oh, can I? Yeah. What does nice. what do I have to it'll... swap to it? Or... Um. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, because your third slot is still the last slot used, so it'll uh, send, it, it sent it sent out a send very out. strange Abra. There we go. We did it. Level hundred Abra. GG. It's level 100? <laughs> and it's red. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's red because it uses the egg's palette and has this unused red color that just shows up on anything that uses it. Can this thing do anything? <gasps> Shall we... F oh, what is this move? Man, I can use whoa. it on myself! Let's go! Whoa. Do I have any kind of elixir? I want to know what this is now. Oh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> What is happening? Quick, get me off stage. This needs to die. <laughs> uh, Next run, Ranger. Let's go. So much, guys, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, please, please. Do not do this at home. Go follow Amoeba. Go sub to him. He's a wonderful guy. And watch he... the task. Watch and the task. And watch the task. <laughs> watch the task. <laughs> and of course, Shiro, thank you so much for jumping in here quite literally in the 30 seconds before we started. And of course, Murp jumped in here to mm -hmm. help explain to us plebs who don't understand anything about programming. It, is, <laughs> it was my pleasure. Yeah. It was very fun. Very Thank enjoyable. Thank you for having me. 
I had a great fun. I would do it again. Thank you. Thank All you right. for having me. We are going to transition over to, and then we're going to be having Fire Red Leaf Green Round 2 by Sparkle Lantern. So we will see you guys in a few minutes once we're all set up.